everyone, it's Jim with Evolution Power Sports, and today we are here to talk about my favorite subject of all time, and that's turbochargers. And, and I'm also excited because it's the culmination of over a year's worth of work uh, to bring uh, to the Mavar community a 100% direct replacement turbocharger that's not based on the OEM turbo. This is our turbocharger. We had the CHRA cast, and machined, we had the, the compressor housing cast and machined and the exhaust housing cast and machined uh, with our partners. <clears throat> and it's so exciting because now we're, we're not limited to, um, you know, basically the turbine flow of the OEM turbo, okay, which is still a great upgrade. And the reason why I've got all three on this cart is I wanna kinda go through uh, the differences and, and what each turbo is for. Okay, so starting with the P47, this is the turbo that's gonna stay for a customer that wants really, really good power, really, really good spool, uh, but stay with a stock engine. This is perfect. We've got hundreds of these on the, on the dirt and on the sand and on the drag strip right now. They work amazing, completely seamless uh, install, and, uh, and the tuning is absolutely spot on. So, for those of you who want to do a turbo upgrade in your Mav R, definitely the P47 is what you want to do. Okay. Now the other two turbochargers. This is a P48, and this is a P50. Okay. Um, these are going to be for customers that want to do a an engine build. Okay. Whether it's you know just kind of a mild uh, engine build, uh, but with a ported head and cams. Okay. So we're talking about pistons, rods, ported head, oversized valves. Um, you know, our valve train, uh, those, and, and a slightly higher compression. We go nine and a half to one on the compression ratio on all of our builds, okay? That would be for the P48, okay? Spool's great. Uh, I just drove the car that's behind me. It's, it's absolutely seamless. It actually spools a little bit better than the P47 uh, just because of the turbine flow uh, of this of the turbo and the exhaust housing the AR A over R on the exhaust housing we really wanted to make sure that we kept the great spool characteristics even though we're going bigger and then here is our P50 we designed this uh, specifically for our stroker uh, kit our 1150 kit for the Maverick R which will be released soon um, this will get us to that next level of power Okay, uh, because we, we have another 150 cc's of displacement to work with, spools this turbo absolutely instantly. It's, it's unbelievable how responsive the Mavar becomes with that stroker kit, even with a 50 millimeter turbo. So um, all of these, you know, we've made over 400 to the tire with a P47. I would say that's, that's probably at the very, very upper end of what uh, we, we would want to try on that. Um, the P48 is capable of 450 to the tire and the P50 is 500 to the tire, at least. Okay, that, that's, we, we haven't reached the upper limits of this. And for future applications, we can change the, we can go up to a 56 millimeter compressor and we can also uh, change to, you know, I think up to like a 52 or 53 millimeter turbine so we've got a ton of flexibility with this platform to go from you know where we are now to wherever customers wherever we want to go you know we, we've already stated that our goal for the Maverick R is 800 horsepower so I don't know if we'll get there with that but you know uh, we should be able to get somewhere uh, in the ballpark one more cool feature that we added just to be extra is we made the turbocharger so that uh, you will hear like Somebody will know if you have one of these two turbochargers on your car because the, the turbo whistle is so distinct, it's crazy, okay? Just at idle, you, you'll know that, that everybody will know that you have the big turbo, okay? And um, what I've seen on, you know, just the factory anti-lag is that at idle, both of these turbos make over three pounds of boost, okay? Factory turbo doesn't do that. so. So when I say they're responsive, I mean it. I mean, three pounds of boost just idling on factory anti-lag, that's pretty cool.
awesome thing. And, and like I said, we, we've been working on this for over a year. And finally, uh, these, these two turbos <laughs> showed up today. These are our, um, uh, this is serial number, I think, uh, uh, two, and this is serial number four. We have another one that's going on a specialty build uh, down in Arizona, which you can check out at Sandsport Super Show. You want to see something badass, go check it out at our booth at Sandsport Super Show. But uh, anyway, uh, these are coming in. These are, the, these are prototypes, but production will be in in two to three weeks. We'll have a limited supply of them initially, and then in about 60 days, we'll have full production capability. Uh, oh, and transmission stuff's coming too. I know a lot of people are really uh, anxious about transmission stuff. We didn't take this project on without thinking about you know, what's gonna have to happen in the transmission. So uh, more information to come on that really soon too. So check us out, evopowersports.com and stay tuned.